I don't actually have a marionette cosplay, I just kinda threw it together with some crap I found in my closet. Yeah! Hi everyone, welcome back to the cosplay madness that is my channel and I am very excited today because I'm gonna show you how I made the wig for my Miraculous Ladybug cosplay. This was a very fun wig styling project for me, I haven't really done anything quite this heavy duty before, uh, so it's, it was fun to kind of film the process and I'm glad I get to take you through it with me and hopefully teach you something that you didn't know or something useful to you. Can't really remember, how do you say let's go in French? Oh, allons-y! Mm -hmm. Step one before you even touch the wig is to get yourself some foam eggs. I got these from the craft store and they came in a pack of two. I use these to put inside of the pigtails to give them shape and make them durable. As you can see, they're super bright white and I didn't want them to be easily visible, so I mixed together some black and blue acrylic paint and painted the eggs. I stuck my egg onto the end of scissors so I didn't get paint all over my fingers. While they dried, I started on the actual wig. So I started with a chibi from Arda Wigs in dark blue, that wig will be linked down below. I clipped the bangs out of the way and took it out of the original pigtails. Then I took the pigtails out one at a time and made them lower with just a little hair tie so I could figure out the placement. Then I let the hair down on one side and used clips to put it into sections and then one at a time put the sections into the pigtail. I'm using some really small rubber kit elastics to hold it all together. I saved the sections near the top and front for last. Putting the hair into the pigtail in sections makes it a little stronger and it's easier to make the hair smooth do that to both sides, obviously. Then I sprayed the hair with a spray adhesive to keep everything in place. You could also use a super strong hairspray and then I did the scary part, which is cutting off the whole pigtail. Use some hair scissors, take your time, and just chop it off. Make sure you're keeping the hair you're cutting off neat because we're going to use it later. Then to keep the little pigtail stub from going anywhere, I used some tacky glue and a paintbrush to coat the hair in glue. Let that dry while you're working on the eggs. So now take your dry eggs, that sounds weird, and a knife. I just used a little pocket knife and on the larger side of the egg carve a hole that's a little bigger than the pigtail stub. Do this over a trash can because the styrofoam is going to go everywhere. Then put your eggs on the pigtails to test the size and they should be a little loose. Now it's time to cover the eggs with the hair we cut off from the pigtails. I just used some handy dandy hot glue for this so you'll need the hot glue gun, the hair, and most importantly, a cup of ice water so you don't burn your fingers. Find a way to stand up your egg, I shoved mine onto the end of a pencil and stood the pencil up in a little can. Then you take a little section of hair and comb it to smooth it down. I also trimmed the end so it would be a straight line. Then I put a little bit of hot glue on the end of the hair and stuck it inside of the egg. Dip your finger in the ice water and press down the section of hair to quickly cool the glue and stick it to the side of the egg. Then take some hot glue on the side of the egg, dip your finger in the water, and press the hair onto the side of the egg. Then you just repeat this around the whole egg. Then take your covered eggs and glue them to your little pigtail stubs. I put the glue inside of the egg hole and shoved the stubs, <laughs> egg hole, and shoved the stubs inside of it and waited for it to dry. Then I decided to add some more hair, so I did the same, get a section of hair, glue it, and ice water system I did for the eggs. But I just put the hair where the foam and the wig meet. This just gives the pigtails a little more body and covers up the seam. Next, I combed through the pigtails to get out any loose hairs and to evenly spread the hair around the egg. I put an elastic at the bottom to hold it in place. Then, taking more tacky glue, I painted over the hair onto the eggs. Here is where you can see I should have combed it a little more to get all the loose hair, but it's okay because I just trimmed the flyaways once the glue was dry. I put a little extra glue on the bottom of the pigtails to help them stay up around the foam inserts. Wait for that to dry. Once the glue was dry, I took the elastics off the bottom of the pigtails and started cutting and shaping the hair into the little point that Marinette has. Take your time with this and do them at the same time so you get them as even as possible. Then I sprayed the ends with some more spray adhesive to keep them in place. Now to cut the bangs, I kept a reference picture of Marinette open while I was cutting and looked into a mirror slash my front facing camera and had the wig on my head for most of the cutting. So she has really swoopy long bangs on one side and a shorter fringe framing her face on the other. Make sure you're using a reference picture to get them on the correct sides. After the bangs are done, it's time to add the ribbons. For the ribbons that stick out, I just used some basic red ribbon and cut off double the length that I wanted. 
I coated half of the ribbon in tacky glue and put a piece of craft wire on that glue and folded the other half of the ribbon over. Then I just waited for it to dry. I tried to do this with hot glue, but it didn't look super great, so I would not recommend that. So to attach the ribbons to her hair, I hot glued the ribbon with wire in it to the pigtail and then wrapped another piece of ribbon around the base of the pigtail to cover where the wig and the foam inserts meet. Make sure that the two ends of the ribbon you're wrapping around the pigtail meet at the bottom so you can't see them. And voila, you have your very own miraculous ladybug wig. And that's it. I hope you found some of that useful or helpful in your own wig styling projects. And if you have any questions at all, make sure you leave them in the comments down below so I can hopefully give you an answer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials and videos about cosplay, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to follow me on any other social media platforms, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. And all of those links will be in the description down below. That was a lot of hand movements. Also, if you're interested in watching any of my other Miraculous Ladybug tutorials, I will put them in a playlist and it will be also linked for you down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>